catch and cook, and today's target species is Jack Crevel. So guys, um, I'm gonna show you guys some video of me catching the jack, so stay tuned. Damn. Yeah, baby. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That. Hey, can you throw this down here, man? Excuse me. Actually, probably better off up there. If he gets close, yeah, thank you. He's still far away, so don't worry about it. I'm not sure. Try to bring him on this side. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm called fishing, baby. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah I got you. Damn it. Is there a lure right there? Try to lift his head. Lift. It's attached to the lure. Damn it. Want to pull with the lure? Yeah. Good shit. There you go. Thanks, Mom. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> so now, guys, I'm going to just fillet it. Again, this jack is a little frozen, but this bubble blade should be able to handle it. Start off right here. And then I'm gonna just do a little fillet. Go across the back. And then I'm gonna go by the tail. So I go under and just start cutting forward. And there we go. It's kind of hacked up, but it's because the fish is frozen, so it made it a lot hotter. So now, I'm going to put this off to the side, and then I'm going to take the skin off. So now I got a nice fillet. Now I'm going to take the skin off. So all you want to do is make a little incision there and just start cutting. Because Jack has really, had really tough skin, so I just want to take that skin off before I cook the fish. Guys, and here's the skin right here. So now I'm going to take this bloodline out. Um, I've heard that a lot of people say you should take the bloodline out in any fish that's really uh, bloody. is because it has a strong flavor to it. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut that bloodline out. Throw that in the trash. And now this is all good meat. Since this fish is frozen, I'm going to cut it in little thin slices, so when I put it on the oil, it'll cook really well. So I'm going to cut it up in little slices like this, or little strips. So now let's cook it. On a side note, you see the size of these goldfish? This goldfish is the size of my hand, basically. Look how big he is. Waiting for him to turn. Look at that. I'm 6'2", and this goldfish is really big. We've had this goldfish since they are little nuggets. If those goldfish get any bigger, I might just eat them. No, I'm just kidding. All right, let's cook the jack. Guys, I'm going to use some adobo. To season this, I'm gonna season it really lightly because I actually want to taste the flavor of the fish. 
I don't really want to season it heavenly. And again, I'm using small strips because a lot of the jack was frozen and I tried to thaw it out as much as possible. So this is the most thawed out part. So we're going to season it a little bit. Season each side. We're going to put it on the skillet and I'm cooking in vegetable oil. So just put a little down. And these should take three or four minutes to cook because they're really thin. Alright guys, they're done, so now let's take them off and try them. Alright guys, let's see how it tastes. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually not bad. Um, it's pretty, it's, I mean, it's good, but I wouldn't say it's like the best thing ever. Every time you catch one, you gotta, uh, you gotta keep it and cook it. But like, it's, it's decent. Like, I don't know why a lot of people say it tastes like trash because I mean, it's pretty good fish, you know, like if you, if you're fishing a long day and this is the only thing you catch and you want to take something home, it's good enough to prepare. So I think it's a pretty good fish, you know, it's, it's decent, you know, and if you prepare it well, just a little spices and stuff, it's it's pretty good. So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. And um, if you ever catch a jack and you want to keep it, just try it out, and you might like it. So thanks for watching, and fish on.